Another beer from Asda today. <coughs> Another beer from Asda today. And it is um, Guelo, um Neon Jungle IPA. And this is a, um, let's see, what is it? It's 5.5% um, um, IPA, uh, 440ml can. It's even got the IBU on it, 11, which um, is pretty low. So I'm not expecting this, this to be a particularly bitter beer. Um, and it's also got Brew York on the back. So I'm assuming it's a collaboration between Guelo and Brew York. Uh, Guelo, Hong Kong Brewery. And of course, Brew York, which is based in York. So um, we'll have to see what this is like. So um, is there any more information? There's quite a lot of information about it. It tells you, oh, it even says the hops here. So it says it uh, brings you bright tropical flavors from Hong Kong. Wheat and oats help thicken a hazy base to which we add Idaho 7, Idaho 7 and Citra, both in the Whirlpool and dry hop aromas. Oh, sorry, in the, in the Whirlpool and dry hop. Aromas of tangerine and pineapple. Well, I'm not going to read about the aromas. I'm going to see what I get. So, well, there you go. So, Neon Jungle by Guelo in collaboration with Brew York. Let's crack it open. Give it a pull. So, let's have a see. Let's give it a pull. Oh, so I smelled something coming across then. Not massively familiar with Idaho 7, but we will see um, what it what I'm getting from it. Um, so let's uh, let's get a nose, let's get a proper nose. Don't really get much then. It's quite a big head there. So let's have a look at it first, actually. So that's quite a big head. Um, it's two fingers. Um, white head, quite a light beer again, quite a light orange, quite a light orange bordering on hazy yellow, pineapple juice color. Um, let's give it a swirl. Oh, very fruity that. Very fruity. I'm getting oranges. Getting pineapple. A bit of lemon. It smells very fruity. A little bit creamy. Yeah, it just smells like a really fruity. A little bit of mango in the back there, I think. Teeny bit of grapefruit. It just smells like a really fruity beer. So it smells like just a fruit, just like a mixed fruit juice, really, in the smell there. Okay, let's go in for the old taste. Cheers. Okay, let's go in again. So it's very pleasant. It's um, it's got a little bit of bitterness there to to sort of just to balance out the fruity flavours we're getting in the taste there. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, get more of those citrus flavours, tangerine, and I say a bit of grapefruit there, a bit of grapefruit bitterness coming through. Yeah, you can taste the oats. There's a little bit of oatiness in there, which I like. I like oats in a beer. This was £3 a can, I think, and it was part of the 4 for 3 deal as well, which, again, like the alpaca that I reviewed last, um, it's um, it's brilliant. At that price, that's a brilliant deal with some of these beers, especially when they're only £3 a can when they're not on the deal. Because, say, sometimes <clears throat> Tesco do a similar deal, so do Morrison's, but a lot of their beers are £3.50 upwards. Um, they're keeping, in Asda, they seem to be keeping a lot of the beers at £3, which they could get away with, I think, of selling them at £3.50. Certainly the alpaca, um, you could get away with selling that at £3.50 a beer. I thought that was great. Um, I so say this one, the Guelo, um, I'm really, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's just pleasant. Got a little bit of a candy taste to it, a little bit of sweets, like, you know, confectionery kind of taste to it, which we get in some beers. I'm not sure if that's one of the hops or if that's just something else that's happening in it. But I've got to say, um, I'm enjoying that. It's very pleasant. It's very tropical. It's very fruity. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying that. And for price, I think it's a steal. So there you go. So it's a steal for the price. It's um, a good beer anyway. Not for the price, even for a slightly higher price. Not disappointed. 
there you go. Until next time, have a good one.